British Columbia is a parliamentary democracy. This means that we elect people to represent us in Victoria at our provincial legislature. These elected representatives are called members of the Legislative Assembly, MLAs for short. They each represent a different area called an electoral district, also known as a constituency. But what exactly do they do? It's their job to pass legislation, approve finances, and scrutinize the government. MLAs are often members of a political party. Each party consists of a group of people that share similar political views and work together to accomplish their goals. Okay, but how do we select our MLAs? Let's review the election process. The province is divided into electoral districts and each district has its own election race. Political parties endorse individuals called candidates to represent their party in one of the electoral districts and compete for the job of MLA. These candidates generally share the same views and goals as their party. Some candidates also run independently, separate from any political party. During campaigns, parties and candidates share their policies and ideas, called their platform, and work towards gaining public support. Voters choose their candidate by marking their ballot. At the end of the campaign, the votes are counted, and the winning candidates are officially elected. Now, how do we figure out who will form the government? Typically, the political party with the largest number of elected MLAs in the provincial legislature becomes the governing party, and their leader then becomes the leader of the government, the premier. However, this isn't always what happens. In our system of parliamentary democracy, governments must be supported by a majority of members in the Legislative Assembly. A majority government results when one political party wins more than half of all seats in the Assembly, whereas a minority government occurs when a governing party wins less than half of the seats but is able to maintain the support of a majority of the MLAs. Of the other parties in the legislature, the party that holds the largest number of seats becomes the official opposition. By now, you should have a pretty good idea of how parliamentary democracy works in BC. What's important to remember is that it all starts with you, the voter. Each vote counts, and each district matters in the makeup of the future government, which is why participating in elections is so important.